South Korea is one of the most developed countries on the planet, but it has some extremely frightening dark sides that make living there undesirable for many. According to statistics, South Korea has the highest suicide rate in the world, with over 1.2 million young people desperate to find employment and frequently suffering from depression. Additionally, environmental pollution and high living costs are also dark aspects of South Korea. Join me on a journey to South Korea and explore the dark sides of this beautiful Asian country which pressure many young people and make them want to leave. Number 17. Rude Behavior If you have ever interacted with South Koreans please comment below to share your thoughts on them. Nearly half a century ago, South Korea was one of the poorest countries in the world. Therefore, in Korean culture, Koreans teach their descendants that hunger is terrifying. So, when you have food, you must eat it. South Koreans have a habit of putting a lot of food in their mouths at once. As a result, they have to swell their mouths to process a large amount of food. They also often make noise when chewing. In addition, slurping noodles in South Korea is very common. South Koreans are also rude in that they often spit on the streets. The reason for spitting is due to smoking. South Korean girls also smoke a lot. Number 16. Locals dislike immigrants. Although the phenomenon of excluding foreigners is not very explicit, you will still feel that South Koreans are somewhat xenophobic, even though no one says it out loud. For example, you will notice that South Koreans are reluctant to befriend foreigners, dislike foreign languages, always stare at foreigners with prominent appearances, and look down on Southeast Asian countries as very poor. No matter how long you have lived there, or how well you know the language, you will always feel like an outsider. Some bars and nightclubs have signs banning foreigners to keep them away. Therefore, it is very difficult for you to have a solid relationship with locals, unless they are South Koreans who have studied abroad or lived abroad for a while. According to a survey by the Korea Women Migrant Workers Human Rights Center, 90% of South Koreans admit that racial discrimination in general exists in this country. Cases of being denied service at bars or in taxis just because of their race are also quite common. Additionally, according to a report by the Korean Ministry of Labor, the risk of occupational accidents for local workers is only 0.8%, while the rate for foreign workers is 1.16%. What do you think about this in South Korea? Leave a comment to share your opinion. Number 15. Extreme Pollution in South Korea one thing you will find very unpleasant is the pollution in South Korea. Many people come here thinking the weather is foggy but it's actually fine dust and waste brought in from China. The air quality in South Korea is extremely terrible, and everyone has to wear air filtering masks or have air purifiers indoors. Seoul is one of the cities with the highest air pollution levels globally. According to air quality experts, the main cause is the rapid industrialization in this country. South Korea also endured one of the worst yellow dust storms in decades, the storm often comes with harmful particles such as carbon monoxide, sulfur, heavy metals, and carcinogens. It also carries viruses, fungi, bacteria, pesticides, herbicides, and plastic components, deeply affecting the health of the population. Moreover, public trash bins are very rare in South Korea. You will often see a pile of garbage in a corner designated for garbage collectors, so many people will stuff their garbage there. This will make you smell the unpleasant odor when you come to South Korea. Number 14. Male Dominance and Female Disdain Talking about Korean culture means talking about a very heavy male dominance and female disdain. At home, women have to take care of all household chores, child care, and in-law care. In society, they are undervalued regardless of their skills and qualifications. In the gender equality ranking among 144 countries, South Korea ranks 118th. Furthermore, South Koreans believe that a house husband is shameful, Many men shy away from this, leaving their wives to do everything alone. According to an analysis by the Seoul Women and Family Organization, mothers spend nearly three and a half hours a day doing all the household chores, while fathers only spend about one hour. With the burden of work and housework, South Korean women have very little time for personal needs. In terms of gender equality, statistics show that female workers in South Korea account for nearly one-fourth of the total workforce in large companies, and the salary they receive is equivalent to nearly 70% of that paid to male workers. The reason is that South Korean women are still limited by deep-seated traditional values in policies, corporate culture, and society. 
making it difficult for women to enjoy a salary commensurate with their education and skills. The corporate culture dominated by men has deeply ingrained in the subconscious of the people in this country. Number 13. Unsafe for women. Also in South Korea, the issue of secretly filming women is rampant. According to a survey by the country's Ministry of Gender Equality and Family, up to 8 out of 10 women experience harassment in the workplace. Moreover, they often dare not speak up. Besides the risk of losing their jobs, the reputation of the victims will also be tarnished. Furthermore, according to a study conducted by the Korean Institute of Criminology in 2017, 1,593 out of the total of 2,000 men surveyed, or 79.7%, admitted to having mistreated their girlfriends while dating. Approximately 37.9% of the 1,593 respondents or 603 individuals stated that dating violence included sexual harassment followed by mental abuse, physical abuse, sexual abuse, and intentional injury. Moreover, according to recent reports from the police in South Korea, the proportion of crimes targeting women has increased from 16,600 individuals in 2007 to 28,228 individuals in 2021. Additionally, statistics from 2011 to 2020 show that up to 86.7% of the victims of violent crimes in South Korea are women. These figures all indicate that women are not safe in this country. This also leads to women being unwilling to marry, have children, or date, resulting in the declining birth rate in this country. What do you think about this dark side? If you are a woman, would you want to go to South Korea? Please leave your comments below. Number 12. South Koreans are very curious. Many South Koreans will ask anything and be curious about your personal life. This can make foreigners feel uncomfortable as they have to answer personal questions about their marital status, family, and personal life. Moreover, South Koreans often like to gossip and talk behind the backs of people they meet. Number 11. Emphasis on hierarchy. Similar to many East Asian cultures, South Korean society can be described as having a strong hierarchical nature. Kendai is a slang term for older people in South Korea, and this is based on the starting point of a culture that respects the elderly. Accordingly, older people are often overly strict and stubborn. They always use their age and work experience to bully younger people, forcing them to humble themselves. South Korean culture is heavily influenced by Confucianism, which has created the belief that the elderly are always right, and that their experience is always superior to that of the young. They have the right to be wrong and the right to impose everything. The con culture leads to a significant gap in the workplace, especially in the office. The con culture in the workplace is characterized by years of service. There is a very clear hierarchy in the company in terms of titles, forms of address, and job assignments. Those with higher status have more power. This will determine who reports to whom and how. In addition, the attitude of subordinates towards superiors needs to be cautious and humble. This makes subordinates very vulnerable to bullying from superiors, and they have to compromise as they cannot do anything other than obey. Number 10. High Cost of Living While South Korea's cost of living ranks 16th in the world, higher than Tokyo, the quality of life is lower at 81st, indicating a significant gap between the cost of living, housing prices, and the quality of life of the people in this city. The most expensive housing area in Seoul is Gangnam-gu, with an average apartment price of about 2.28 billion won. Apartment prices in Seoul have skyrocketed in recent years. The proportion of apartments priced over 900 million, one accounts for more than half of the total number of apartments in the South Korean capital. Located in Yonggun-gu, the Hanam the Hill apartment has the highest transaction amount of about 7.75 billion won. Number 9. Extremely Crowded Life Life in South Korea can sometimes be challenging. Personal space is almost non-existent, especially on public transportation. Subway trains can also be quite crowded so be prepared when you come here. Residents are too familiar with the packed-like sardines scene because the population density here is 15.69 people per square kilometer. This can be explained by the tragedy of people trampling on each other in Taiwan, which killed at least 158 people, including 26 foreigners. The victims were mainly young people aged 20 to 30, part of the crowd of over 100,000 people flocking to Taiwan and jostling just to enjoy Halloween festivities. Number 8. 
Emphasis on physical appearance. South Korea is known as a country that values outward appearance. Because of this, the pressure is increasingly weighing on the shoulders of its citizens, urging them to meet society's expectations of appearance and not hesitating to spend a lot of money to improve it. The constant glorification of beautiful faces makes many individuals feel ashamed of their natural features, leading to a loss of self-confidence. In particular, fair skin indicates a person's high social status, whereas darker skin is considered to belong to low-wage laborers who toil outdoors. Most Korean cosmetics products are specifically tailored to serve the fair skin demographic. Not many Korean cosmetics companies produce products for those with darker skin tones. Furthermore, according to Korean standards, two people with the same measurements but one with a smaller face will be considered more beautiful. The standard measurement is to place a CD on the face and if the face is completely covered by the CD it is considered a small face. That's why every four South Koreans undergo cosmetic surgery every year. The reason they undergo cosmetic enhancements is that they don't want to fall behind anyone in terms of appearance, increasing their chances of competing for jobs or having influence online. Do you meet the beauty standards of South Koreans and what do you think about the emphasis on physical appearance? Please comment below. Number 7. Fast-Paced Lifestyle of South Koreans Are you familiar with the image of South Koreans brushing their teeth while walking from movies? Let me know in the comments. In fact, most South Koreans have this habit, especially in public places like companies and schools. South Koreans also maintain this habit to save time. They believe that personal hygiene should not affect other important tasks. For these reasons, it's not hard to see images of South Koreans brushing their teeth while doing something else. This fast-paced lifestyle has deeply ingrained itself into the subconscious of South Koreans. It seems that the quick pace in the subconscious of South Koreans also leads to impatience. It's not hard to see images of South Koreans being impatient and irritable when not served quickly. In addition, South Koreans are particularly impatient with slow internet speeds because it hinders rapid exchanges, such as communication, banking, shopping, and many other tasks done through phones. Some choose to close the browser and try again, rather than look at the loading screen for three more seconds. Although South Korea's fast-paced trend may have helped the country develop rapidly, incidents due to haste are also likely to occur. An iconic example is the collapse of the S department store in 1995, which killed 502 people and injured more than 900. The cause of the collapse was due to negligence and haste in construction. What do you think about this culture? Please leave a comment. Number 6. School violence occurs frequently. An example of the school violence situation is from 2021, when a group of South Korean students at a girls' high school in the city of Yangsan physically assaulted another student for nearly six hours just because of racial issues. The group even recorded a video and shared it online. A survey in 2022 by the South Korean Ministry of Education, with responses from about 3.21 million students, showed that 53,880 students, accounting for 1.7%, reported experiencing school violence during the period from the second semester of 2021 to the first semester of 2022. Among them, 3.8% of elementary school students, 0.9% of middle school students, and 0.3% of high school students said they had experienced school violence. 41.8% reported verbal violence, 14.6% physical violence, and 13.3% bullying. The reason is that many victims still commit suicide, and bullies continue to go unpunished for their actions. In addition, many victims say that the school violence prevention committees are not to be trusted. What do you think about the situation of school violence in South Korea? Please leave a comment with your opinion. Number 5. Youth Unemployment South Korea's economy is very strong but declining, with giant conglomerates like LG, Samsung, and Hyundai. Startups are struggling to advance in society. These companies impose poor contract terms on smaller companies, which must accept the more significant risk of bankruptcy. This is paralyzing the job searchability of most young people, and over 11% of youth cannot find employment. Furthermore, because companies only hire students from prestigious universities, there are many unemployed graduates in South Korea. According to Yonhap News Agency, data from the Korean Statistical Office shows that as of May of this year, out of 8.42 million people aged 15 to 29, 4.52 million have graduated from middle school, high school, or university. However, 
1.26 million of those who have graduated, are currently unemployed. In addition about 52.8% of unemployed youths are university graduates, and about 1%, equivalent to 12,000 people, have master's or doctoral degrees, according to the same agency. On average, young people take 10.4 months to find their first job after graduation. About 15.3% of young people, equivalent to 591,000 people, say it took them more than two years to successfully apply for a job after graduation. This adds to a major crisis for the South Korean government, forcing the state to implement many programs encouraging students to go abroad to find jobs. What do you think about the situation in South Korea? Please leave a comment with your opinion. Number 4. Extreme Academic Pressure in recent years South Korea has become known as an unhappy country for children to grow up in, due to the heavy burden of early education. South Korea's education system has become one of the most competitive in the world, as even the youngest children must study diligently like adults, just to keep up with the rest. 83% of 5-year-old children in South Korea attend additional classes, and families spend an average of 16% of their income on private education. South Korean elementary school students carry a burden heavier than textbooks every day. That is the pressure to rank first in class, leading in academic achievements. A study by the Korean Institute of Health Education shows that more than half of the country's students feel stressed at level 3 out of 4 in terms of academic pressure. This rate is much higher than the global average. This has led the South Korean government to even ban private tutoring sessions after 10 p.m. to reduce the insane academic pressure faced by South Korean children. The most difficult exam that South Korean students fear is the college entrance exam. In Seoul alone, there are up to 24,000 cram schools, three times the number of convenience stores, just to teach children the questions for the college entrance exam. The reason is that South Koreans fear unemployment and lack of qualifications. Whenever the college entrance exam takes place, about 20% of candidates retake the exam to secure a spot at their dream universities. The economic powerhouses dominating South Korea's economy almost exclusively recruit students from the top three universities, Seoul National University, Korea University, and Yonsei University. Number 3. Drinking Culture in South Korea According to a report from a global market research organization, South Korea ranks first among 44 surveyed countries, with an average of 13.7 drinks per person per week. Additionally, statistics from South Korea have revealed that 3.6 billion bottles of soju were consumed in a year. This means that on average, each adult consumes about 87 bottles of soju per year. This is truly an impressive figure. Some sources suggest that the heavy drinking habits of South Koreans stem from the shared culture of the nation. They value social relationships around them, and wherever you go, alcohol can be a way to enhance social relationships. Gathering, drinking, toasting and chanting slogans are also forms of encouragement, showing determination and fostering solidarity. Therefore, if you don't like drinking alcohol, you will surely be surprised when you come to South Korea. Number 2. South Korea's Extremely Hard-Working Culture South Korea's work culture was mainly created during the economic boom by Chaebols to instill absolute loyalty and full commitment to the company. Employees must be entirely dedicated to the company's success, and the company takes precedence over personal and family life. You will not have free time in your life, and you must spend a lot of time at work, even working late into the evening and on weekends. After work, you are expected to spend time with your colleagues. This often involves drinking alcohol overnight with colleagues when people are not tired enough. In March 2023, the South Korean government proposed increasing the maximum weekly working hours from 52 to 69, which faced strong opposition. In 2021, South Koreans worked an average of 1,915 hours per year, nearly 200 hours more than the OECD average. Japan, famous for its work until you die culture, has an average of 1,674 hours, while American workers average 1,791 hours. When going to work, you cannot go home until the boss decides to end overtime. Workers face pressure in the workplace to constantly compete with colleagues and obey all decisions of the boss, even if the boss is wrong. This demanding work culture contributes to South Korea's very low happiness index. While the dedication of South Koreans has led them to work more hours than any other developed country, it is also one of the factors that helped kickstart the country's economic boom. 
What do you think about the work culture in this country? Please leave a comment with your opinion. Number 1. Many monopolistic companies in South Korea In South Korea, giant monopolistic companies are supported by the government. These companies almost control the economy and are called chaebols. A chaebol is an economic term referring to a group of exclusive capitalist families or enterprises with significant power in the business world. It can be understood as a group of large capitalists formed from families or relatives. Currently, the five largest chaebols in South Korea, as recognized by workers, are Samsung, Hyundai, SK Group, LG, and LOT, and they account for about 50% of the market value of South Korea's stock market. According to CEO Scores data from 2017, the total revenue of the top 10 chaebols in South Korea amounted to 6,778 billion equivalent to 44.2% of the country's total GDP. In contrast, this ratio in Japan in 2017 was 24.6%, and in the United States it was 11.8%. The influence of these conglomerate tycoons spreads into every aspect of life in South Korea. Most projects in construction, films, culture, fashion and technology are related to the subsidiaries of Chables. Even many everyday items or services used by South Koreans are connected to chaebols, it can be said that these chaebols are manipulating South Korea's economy. So we have explored the 17 dark sides of living in South Korea. What do you think about these issues? Have you lived in or experienced anything in South Korea? Remember to comment and share your thoughts with me. Thank you for watching our video. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to stay updated with the latest content from us. See you in the next videos.